so very good afternoon to all of you all and uh, i think we we started the discussion already in the in the waiting area so we are quite warmed up to uh, to this panel uh, what we are going to do is we are going to like drift a little bit away from from the topic which has been uh, aligned and we are going to get into something which is which is the elephant in the room so uh, what we'll do is uh, I'll, I'll i'll start start away get into it and i'll ask each of you all this question pertinent question uh, which is going on. and you all are all like you know sort of media heads brand heads uh, of large uh, corporates and uh, there's there's a lot of money which you spend on on media and advertising uh, so my first question to you is uh, I'll, i'll start with you is uh, is tv dead or is tv dying hello hi good afternoon everyone uh, jay i mean i'm completely not in sync with what you're saying and uh, it, it's a medium which uh, really gets into every nook and corner of india it has a huge mass appeal yes the relevance has not changed but there are alternative mediums which have come up but having said that i think television is still one of the primary you know medium in every household whether and especially when it comes to the regional channels the re regional penetration because india is many countries within one country so therefore just saying that one medium has died i am not in concurrence to that so but uh, i mean as a, and again it also depends on what kind of category that you are handling what kind of brand so depending on the category there are uh, certainly there are changes in terms of the percentage that you spend on different media but uh, television definitely is one of the key uh, mediums to consider oh, thanks uh, so uh, ria i'll just move on to you and before you can you can answer uh, the point what i'm trying to ask okay while she says that tv is is not dead but i want to say that what do you foresee it dying in the next 5 years uh, maybe not in the next 5 years and um, i think i will maybe spin it around uh tv will die soon and i can't tell you a number of years uh if two things happen one is uh if there is some substantial third party measuring or monitoring which happens for digital right that's the first thing and the second thing is of course digital efficiencies have to come down because right now it's almost even for the smallest unit of video it's almost 20x that of tv so if these two happens i think tv can die a soon uh, uh, die a very fast death um, don't know when that's going to happen and if that will happen but uh, that's the only way i can see tv dying because otherwise as madhu said india is a vast country too many people uh, subscription subscription cost for tv is much much lesser uh, and, and tv affords uh, great entertainment at a very low value so uh, if things don't change tv cannot die very soon got it priyanka yes. is it on can you hear so your take on this so one person is saying clearly tv is not dying uh, uh, riya's point of view is that not right now but she foresees it in the next not 5 years or 10 years that probably given certain constraints which digital has uh, tv is probably staring at its death what's your point of view yeah. so well in a country like ours where you know 1.4 billion people you have a rural population you have a large urban population and you then have maybe the top 25 million people who have your really high sort of purchasing power so it's fairly dynamic in that i mean i can go with facts what we have seen and the and we also deal with a category which is very very deeply penetrated almost everyone buys a toothpaste so it's 100% penetrated we also deal with the challenge of having brands that are mass penetrated to building brands that are talking to a more premium segment which are more you know specific to a benefit what we've seen is that tv reach still continues to hold on you know if you look at a longer trend of data the reach would have come down maybe a few points a couple of points what is really coming down is um, time spent on tv because people's time is now getting you know spent on multiple devices um so you and for us it is 
it is more and like we say india is a country of and it is not you know this or that so we do and i do see the relevance of tv holding on um you know for consumers and um, audiences or maybe segments where it is still deeply reached of course there is still i mean there are opportunities now and there are sizable opportunities of reaching people through digital so it's equally possible to you know build a demand generation model without tv then you have a certain scale of ambition and you you, you want to run a business out of i don't know maybe 100 million people you know with a certain level of trial and all of that so both are possible so but i hard to say that tv when will tv die i think it is all about you know finding the right mix of channels and touch points to reach the consumer at the right time and the right message and in that context i think tv still holds strongly for some segments and may not have any relevance for you know a certain set of segments god oh very interesting sandeep the ball is in your court now you defend it so yeah <laughs> so i think uh, there are two perspective to this one with the viewer perspective and the advertiser's perspective with the viewer's perspective tv has a long life right because the kind of content that we as indians watch on tv is very family based and as long as the family fabric remains in india the tv won't die yeah because whatever content otherwise we see is mostly not a family viewed content either you can see as has a husband wife right a very limited content is available which is very widely we can be seen with us so with that perspective tv would have a longer life as long as ott regulations come and suddenly ott has to change their content fabric yes then we'll have for the viewers perspective also they will have a better the other thing with is curation a lot of us are um, we don't get too much of time to spend on anything that you want to curate like why does for me why does youtube work i would search one of my content that i want to see and then the curation the ai what it throws right uh, when we have so many ott options right uh, you you spend a lot of time in trying to figure out what you want to watch correct so that's another reason why i feel that this curation helps a lot that's why that's one reason music channels have not died music channels have significantly reduced their grps but they have not died right because the curation that's being offered are fabric and people know that this is my taste and they will not have to jump here and there so that way is that again is a very big plus for tv the curation aspect of it and the content creation even today if you see ott platforms uh like i just read some time back netflix has acquired the rights of wwe why because they want to become what tv is doing right so live action which was one of the important aspects of tv they know that with whatever they are now creating marketing to survive for them it's not possible unless they have something which is seamless viewership and people have to come regularly so with that competition is there yes what happens for with the advertisers perspective uh, the mix has to be seen based on what you are wanting to promote it is the tg you want to promote it is based on what kind of people you want to promote so basically with the advertisers advertisers perspective it is the market and the tg in which you want to reach to a customer and um i just saw a couple of days back i think ntv profit there was a uh, harit nagpal was there and i liked one analogy of his very very much uh, it was like uh, he was saying that uh, if people are growing right if cars were if buses were enough why car grow right if cars are growing why metros are growing right metros are still getting built even in bombay right so everything everything is going to grow and it's not going to not that because metro has started growing the car sales will reduce it's about the convenience it's about the need and the so will happen for this medium the medium is providing entertaining content the pipe may vary based on the type of content if the content suits a particular medium it will be there so for that i'm uh, not in agreement that tv tv will like one more data point i want to just add in last 5 years if we see there is a reduction in reach okay but if we see the total hours of content consumed 
if I have to give the analogy, five hours of 13 minutes is an every household's average consumption in TV. Except for the COVID year, it's stagnant. Around five hours, 13 minutes. And if you go in terms of individuals, it's some uh, three hours, some 40 minutes or something. So not that their consumption is reduced, but as everybody is rightly saying, because there are so many mediums, because there are so many options, there has to be a reduction in reach. Oh, thanks, thanks. Uh, inter interesting points you've made. Uh, and uh, with that, I, I, I'll get a little more deeper into TV. Okay, and uh, so as, as we have like, when we do our planning, we look at, let's say, connected TV, approximately 40, 50 million households. Then we look at HD TV again, 40, 50 million households. Then you have pay TV and then you have FTA. So that's, that's the sort of pyramid which we work with. Uh, while we all know connected TV is rapidly growing, HD TV is rapidly growing, uh, FTA is rapidly growing. But I've seen some reports which are talking about like pay TV either being stagnant or probably declining. And that's, that's largely because of what we believe as cord cutters or uh, cord shavers, you know, uh, opting for more connected devices. So, so given this perspective, okay, do you, as, as large advertisers, uh, do you believe that, you know, the money, uh, the pay TV money is, is dramatically shifting towards digital is one. And second is that the growth of FTA means that, you know, we are going to see India getting polar, polarized. So you have India, you have Bharat. So TV is going to become a more medium for Bharat, while India is going to become more digital. So Madhu, your viewpoints on that. I mean, I personally feel that, you know, again, in terms of when you're talking about this planning of how you want to segregate and do the segmentation, it also depends on the fact that who, who, what are you advertising and which category you're in. So, I mean, from an FMCG point of view, the entire approach will be very different versus a lifestyle or any other, you know, whether it's cars, automobile will be different. But having said that, that, you know, that sharp segregation, I am uh, not really very clear about. But I just give you an example about certain platforms. When, it, when cricket happens, I mean, cricket is an all India thing. Absolutely. When such platforms, you cannot segregate because the, whether it's Bharat or India, I mean, television consumption on cricket, and that's the reason the kind of, you know, during a World Cup or an IPL, you know, the kind of money that is offered in terms of from airing point of view. As a brand, we all know that what kind of monies are being split. And they are being able to demand that because there is, uh, you know, there is a certain audience or there are brands who are wanting to. Now, having said that, when you, when you see, uh, uh, especially for World Cup and IPL, when you see the kind of advertisers, I mean, India growing digital and everything we talk about, the maximum percentage of advertisers are digital platforms. So they are seeing that merit in that platform to reach out to huge amount of uh, people in the, in the mass appeal that we that have. So therefore, that has also been considered. But uh, having said that, you know, it again, from a content point of view, the, the discretion that you're talking about of Bharat versus India, it depends on what is the content and who you're wanting to reach out to. So therefore, that amount of, uh, you know, I mean, it's, it can't be a sharp Bharat versus India. It's all about that who you're targeting, what content you're targeting, and in what category you're operating on. So that would be the determining factor for it. Got it. Fair point. Uh, Ria, what's your point of view on I think your question had two points, yeah. or two parts. So the first part was what Madhu answered about pay TV and you know, how she's going to uh, address it. Uh, so I'll try to answer the second one, which was, uh, I think you asked about FTA and uh, is uh, that bringing down the premiumness of TV? Is, was that your question? Yeah. Some, yeah. Like basically, what I'm trying to say is that with pay TV slowly, like, you know, numbers saying that it's declining, sure. does it mean that TV is therefore going to be a, a very Bharat kind of a medium? Right. Uh, is, is what I'm saying. FTA is growing. FTA is definitely growing. Sure. Okay, so um, then uh, what I would say is that we cannot, re we shouldn't really look at TV as pay TV, cable, FTA, DD, all of them, uh, because we look at it as how are we reaching out to the consumers, right? So whether it is through connected TV, pay TV, or FTAs, we are finally uh, 
addressing the business challenges to reach out to the consumers and making them buy our product, right? So, uh, like for example, if you remember, maybe 10 years ago, we used to have a lot, a huge percentage of our TV budgets on niche channels that we never used to spend because the CPRPs were great, right? We were also not getting any incremental reach. It is because we felt or, you know, anecdotally, we felt that people like us watch a lot more of the star world and National Geographic, etc. This Nowadays, we have replaced it with connected TV, right? So whether it is on OTTs or, you know, connected TV on YouTube or any of those, that is how we've done. So if you ask me, it's just the niche part of it and uh, rightfully so, because there is no niche anymore in regular TV. Right? Even in HD, you don't have niche. So that is what is getting replaced with um, connected TV and that's about it. So. Uh, for a consumer, they are watching everything on the same screen. It's for us media planners that it has actually become connected TV also becomes digital, which is actually which it actually is not. So that's where it is. Uh, Priyanka, what's your viewpoint? Given that you know you you handle a brand which has such a large penetration, uh, is it is is there a clear bifurcation in in when you plan? Yeah. So I'll pick from what she said. You know, as advertisers and when we are doing you know building plans or demand generation for brands, we don't look at paid. TV connected FTA from that lens, and I'll, I'll try and tell you with three examples, right? So for example, one of for one of our brands, we wanted to increase our coverage in rural, right? So if you go with the principles of reaching the people, so the first principle is to try and build effective reach through the right set of touch points. We know that there are markets like UP and Bihar, where rural, you know, rural parts of this, almost 40, 50 percent are still media dark, and over the years. Uh, mobile access has led to digital, uh, you know, consumption actually, or digital reach being higher than TV. So there, our mix will have, you know, a, a higher composition of free to air because you know their reach of free to air is higher. We also use digital for rural because that's the, you know, that allows us or enables us to get incremental reach. Then you look at all other sort of touch points. So it's you know finding the right mix, um, and which which has a reasonable amount of digital in it. Uh, on top of TV, but the first principle is also is always which is the highest reach and which is, you know, the most effective to reach as the first medium, and then you build on top of it. Now, on the other side of the spectrum, we have let's say our you know premium brands like you know our whitening toothpaste, visible white if you to see. There we are trying to appeal to a younger audience and a premium audience. So there we, for example, connected TV is is a part of that plan because that's a relevant audience, and you know we we want to reach them uh, consistently. So that's how the mix changes for us. So like I said, there's a core portfolio where we want to reach out to uh, we, you know, large parts of India, high reach, penetration is high, distribution is high for us. And then there are these premium brands where we want to be selective, we want to target the right people. And we also, because we have a large toothpaste portfolio, for us it is important to differentiate and you know, send the right messages to people. So where affordability is high, we would like people to buy a toothpaste which is you know, multi-benefit and has specific benefits. Where affordability is low and where you have rural India where, you know, half of rural India is not brushing with the toothpaste every day, you need to reach them with the right sort of proposition so that they can, you know, buy it. And then the third thing is also, you know, regional variations. And I, I mean, for example, if you look at Tamil Nadu as a state, very, very high consumption of TV is still there. So when you go by numbers and reach build up, we still feel that TV coverage is reasonably high and you know other touch points don't give you incremental reach. So from a reach point of view, that's the lens with which you know you look at. It. The other lens with, with which one looks at touch points is how do you want to connect with the consumer the different parts of the journey. So while we're talking about digital mostly from a YouTube or a social point of view, there are other things that a lot of people are searching. Right? A lot of people are going onto e-commerce platforms to search for products and buy. There are a lot of people who are searching on Google on concerns and things. So those are also now equally important elements uh, for us because while you're trying to build attention, you know, reach with a certain communication, you also want to be discovered when people are on a platform searching for you. You also want to be there as Colgate's offering a solution when people are searching for anything on Google related to oral care because, you know, we are leaders and we want to be uh, ideally providing a solution wherever, you know, we can. So, those are other things in digital. So if you look at the mix, if, I, if you look at an overall mix, the shift is more towards, you know, the percentage of TV has come down and percentage of digital has gone up. But it is, you know, a combination of all these things that is also driving the change. For example, e-commerce media is a significant part of our digital True. investment now. Uh, so I, I, I just want to 
there was a very important point which you which you said and i just want to dwell a little more is about uh, regionalization regionalization of tv so uh, i remember when we when i started planning there used to be only the southern markets where we would look at a regional plan now you have maharashtra west bengal even the hindi heartland has has become uh, regionalized so one is i i just want your views on that in terms of how it helps brands how 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 has planning changed therefore and second is that we are seeing a tremendous amount of growth here from a regionalization point of view regional tv and regional markets are also becoming very important from a media planning perspective does this mean that you know we always do this top down kind of planning we'll have a star plus or a z in our plan and then we keep adding regional channels uh, is is the time come where we have to do bottom up planning you know we we plan at state and then we sort of look at national channels so i would say wherever there is kl we do bottom up planning right so the five states i mean the four south states and maharashtra and west bengal are reasonably penetrated with regional tv right where the southern market should be in the range of 70 to 90% regional if you go across ap karnataka kerala tn with and then there's west bengal and maharashtra which are almost i think 50 60% regional right so you do a bottom up um, and there are times when we only advertise in those states you can you know take a call and say you want to only be in west bengal or a maharashtra and you can get adequate coverage with tv now their digital is also an enabler because hindi in a state like maharashtra where you can only cover let's say half the population with regional but ideally you want to cover more digital becomes like a good enabler to add on that so bottom up planning definitely wherever you can i think only when it comes to the hindi belt if if your objective is to cover the large part of north and west then you would start with you know a certain base of hindi channels and then you do the 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 builds you know uh, in in that time but first principles are largely bottom up wherever you can uh, you know do it god riya what's your point of view on that so um i object to the word bottom up because um you know uh, if you look at it again we are looking at expanding our business we are looking at uh, reaching out to the consumers where the consumers are right so um i don't think when we start working on a plan we ever start with a star plus or any of those things right so um, also maybe for our uh, brands britannia our uh, main strength is in the south uh, not that we are quite bad in west or east or in any of those sort uh, and hence uh, market isolatable markets like the four south states that she said maharashtra east odisha ane etc we really can't start with hsm so uh, if you ask me hindi is just one of the regional languages all the others are also equally important because they also uh, give us that kind of sales to us right so uh, that's what we do so it's not a bottom up uh, planning it's what the business requires and that's how we uh, go out and reach out to the people and of course uh, in rural markets etc we obviously need to layer it up with either digital or you know if there are certain really small pockets maybe we will do some oh or any of those things but uh, that's again a media planning principle rather than you know a region or a language wise uh, planning god god so the interest interesting view points that regional brands obviously will be regional planning Uh, but when when you look at large national brands there is a choice so you you might start with hsm and then add or depending on the pockets of priority you will you will you will uh, sort of advertise so interesting but the 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 moot point is that regionalization in india is definitely growing and it's it's becoming a, a quite an important part uh, looking looking closer at tv again uh, you know we we have these journals right and and i think riya you made that point earlier that there was a point in time we used to put some money for niche channels and you know now there are no longer any niche channels left uh today when you look at tv uh, you have the hindi gcs or the the family viewing as you call it then you have movies news uh, you have impact shows and all that uh so from from your point of view like on a scale of like 1 to 5 where 1 being least important 5 being most important uh what what is your priority when you look at your brands 
and say that you know this is this is something which is making more sense to me this probably doesn't make sense and over the years i think this will like you know like what's the sense for music what's the sense for hindi movies sure. you know with with so much of content being available on otts and all that will they still have the re relevance which uh, you know we expected so I'll, i'll start from madhur so i mean having uh, handling i mean we're handling a male uh, lifestyle brand so therefore it's very important that i mean i'm going to be targeting the male audience so therefore impact properties are very important in terms of and inter and with a mass appeal so as i said that we look a lot into cricket because that is a sure shot in terms of when you do the segmentation the male audience uh, consumption is extremely high second we look at uh, certain channels and not uh, not in the sense that which will have a higher viewership in terms of from a male audience point of view and uh, we also look at uh, the fact that in terms of when the segmentation happening depending on what are the business objectives for the particular campaign now there are certain campaign which are extremely male centric and the campaign uh, you know the proposition that is there whereas when we get into the wedding space and all that we also look at that the primary audience versus and the secondary where women play a very important role in terms of the decision making so therefore the channel uh, selection also then we go into a gc as well because there the women are the decision makers so uh, having said that again business objectives are the key in terms of how the media planning is happening and therefore uh, and not just the television would be the key medium because there lot of other things work we get into lot of digital there are lot of uh, you know because it's an experiential uh, uh, shopping that happens so therefore we get into digital from a from an influencer point of view and how those things add up as you know adding to the different touch points of media communication but uh, yes impact as i said that the most main important. the most important thing is the impact and there should not be any wastage also media wastage because that's why we said that we look for the male centric properties and news channels also play a very important role because regional as well as english so when we are going into the festivals now for example for us from a consumption point of view like east is very important for us for for the durga puja and all that so therefore we concentrate a lot on the regional channels both from uh, the gc as well as from uh, the movies and news and there are other festivals happening because you would know for a category for a discretionary category like ours from september to december those are the very important uh, you know time of the year for us so therefore it becomes a holistic planning where we would get into uh, specifics on looking at the impact properties looking at what are the channels because that is a very clear you know targeting of the audience and it is a family festivals are all about family emotions together so therefore gc also plays a role i think you you said the golden word and i think people here from broadcasters will be extremely happy to know that impact is is quite important for you uh, quick one ria so in from your standpoint uh, if you were to just put a ranking what is the most important for you and what according to you will become the least important a uh, regional number 1 obviously because uh, britannia is a very highly penetrated category or most of our brands are in a very highly penetrated category uh, we are a 5 rupee brand right of course we have higher squs but 5 rupees is the one which sells the most so regional gcs etc and if you ask me those are uh, both uh, equally important uh, impact as madhu said is very very important because there is no other property in the country like an ipl or even uh, the regional big boss uh they all actually gives you uh, that extremely fast reach and you can actually see the results on your brand tracks etc from the next month so the that's also equally important or maybe i will put it as a rank 2 uh what puzzles me the most is hindi movies uh don't know what has happened to them after covid uh i think the media owners themselves uh, are quite puzzled with that uh, possibly because there are all these titles which are getting released on otts and people actually have the convenience of choosing the time when they can actually watch it uh, most of them are free as well uh, unless you uh, you are obviously getting it on amazon or on disney hotstar but otherwise that's what it is so hindi movies puzzling so don't know where that's going but otherwise i think the others are here to stay got it Sandeep, I'll come to you because you'll have to answer this one. <laughs> But uh, Priyanka, what's your in terms so of your? So we evaluate it from two lenses. One is reach, how 
how many people can you reach and how important and then you know the cost effectiveness so if you go in that high reach channels tend to be gcs whether it's hindi or regional at scale and then the mix is you know what could be cost efficient so in the mix you will also have hindi so in that sense we are agnostic of genres we don't go in with a preference or a thing saying we want to be on these genres but we want to deliver reach so we need to be on high reach and we want to deliver it effectively so the right combination of it leads to a mix so as a result of all of this gcs tend to have a really high contribution like i said because we have a huge rural focus also free to air also tend to have you know a higher higher contribution and then depending on objectives like you know accelerated reach during launch windows uh, then you you evaluate live events and we also do impact also at times uh, but all of those are then evaluated in the context of is it giving us some incremental impact and then there are quality parameters also on tv right are you buying in the right zone is, is there adequate prime time uh, your spotting is correct so that you know that you are at least getting more attention versus being in passive zones of tv right uh, that's the sandeep defend hindi movies defend hindi <laughs> movies why i at shimaru i don't have a movie channel as of now in tv but i have worked with my past company was before you we had movie channel i think the movies as a problem in tv is that there are too many movie channels as of now and there is a lot of content repeater that's one problem and for movie consumption uh, the habit for a movie consumption people don't see complete movies they see for movie maybe as i understand maybe for an hour 45 minutes and that too they would want to see movies which they know correct okay, it's not they go to experiment for a movie for the experimental movies they would be happy to curate and go and see where i want to so they they will search that's where our ott platforms are getting their edge because they will they will search for the movie for when they go for tv they would only sample the uh, epg not the channel and in the epg if they know this is the movie i know it from here how it would be it is entertaining they will stop there otherwise they will move to the next channel so that's the cha challenge with the movie channels that they are right now more movie channels and the content that they are offering is not too much of variety is there left so that's the challenge for movie channels and impact definitely movie channels helps and i'm sure uh, they are getting good business when they are showing impact <laughs> no uh, so uh, i'll 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 just sort of uh, in the interest of time i'll just put each of you all on a spot right now okay so uh, hey that's not part of the script <laughs> <laughs> that's why that's why i just specifically kept it outside uh, so as per the adx currently uh, you take whichever like you know uh, industry report uh, they say that digital is approximately 35% tv is at around 30% uh, and digital is supposed to be growing at the rate of 15 to 20% tv grows in single digits at around 8 to 10% so this is what we are looking at as the picture from your perspective okay do you think that tv will grow or do you think that tv will stabilize or tv will come down from your perspective your brands uh, given that this is the way adx is moving but this is what you perceive uh, for your advertising spend yes so <laughs> yeah it's a front bench yeah exactly. you have to put it here no no so see at this current moment the way things are like when earlier we said that that time tv was ruling the roost there were no other uh, you know medium as such other than obviously uh, at an atl level we're going down to oh and the rest of the stuff but the strongest medium was television then the new kid has happened with uh, digital and india is obviously from a, from a younger audience point of view i mean we are a very young country so therefore the digital consumption is also pretty high and therefore the platforms and the digital uh, different uh, areas of digital uh, the numbers that you are showing we all say that digital is growing so i mean that now whether it will i mean it has as far the numbers are going it has over shot as far as television is concerned but there are lot of ways that 
television, there are certain things which used to be the, the key differentiators. I mean, as long as television doesn't get, I mean, as long as there needs to be innovation bringing into the television forum, because anything which happened or which was, you know, quite significantly high at 10 years back or 12 years back, you can't, you know, survive with that. So when it comes to television, there needs to be a lot of innovation that, in, uh, that will come in. Having said that, whether it will go down or uh, go up is debatable. I am no expert to talk about it. But I can give you an example from our media plan point of view. Like if five years back or rather eight years back, if it was 80% uh, or 90% television and the rest would be others. Now we are also, because we are wanting to address a certain uh, you know, audience, we are trying to address younger audience and the consumption habit, media consumption habit have also dramatically changed in the last four years. So our media, in our media plan also, the digital intervention has come in way more in terms of it would be today, a, say a 65% uh, television and the balance is uh, TV. So, uh, sorry, balance is digital. So therefore, from that point of view, we are, as a, from a marketing point of view, all of us are getting into going in that direction, but uh, it will stay. But then again, going back to my firm belief that it is very agnostic to what kind of categories you are in, what is your business objective, what, are the, what is the proposition you want to reach out to the consumer, but effectively from a media point of view, what is the mix that works is something that will rule the roost. So, uh, so 65, 35, will this change? Like in the next three years? Do you think this will become 50-50 or do you think it will stabilize at somewhere close no, to this? I'm sure it will because depending, because it all depends how the consumers are, right? Because uh, if it has changed from a 80 to, uh, to this number, it is because how the media consumption has changed over the years. So therefore, it's very difficult for me to forecast in five years how it's going to be. But if this is the, uh, you know, the trend that is, so it all depends on, because from a marketing point of view, we need to be effective in what we are doing. We need to reach out to the consumer without much of wastage. So how the entire thing transpires is going to determine the percentage of uh, media spends. Clear. Ria, what's your take? So I'm going to answer in two parts, but I'll make it short, okay? So one is that uh, maybe we will talk about India ADEX. What is the India ADEX expenditure? Obviously, digital is coming up. And, uh, you know, the saliency of TV is reducing by the year, maybe 1% or 2% right now. I think they are at some 34%, while digital is at about 58%, et cetera, right? So you can see that the ADEX is favoring digital. The growth is also much higher for digital, et cetera. Uh, however, if you look at the mix of advertisers on TV versus digital, the, the difference is very, very stark. Like on TV, 45% of their uh, ad is from FMCG, 20% from e-com, and uh, then the rest of it comes up, right? Like real estate or, uh, you know, consumer durables and all of that. While on digital, almost 65% of the ad is from SMEs, so which is, you know, from, right from a home baker to a person who is actually, uh, you know, doing some delivery, etc. All of that is part of that huge chunk of 58% of addicts, right? And FMCG is only about 6%, and uh, e-com is about, only about 13%, etc. And these are all industry numbers. I'm sure it will keep changing agency to agency. But uh, that's where it is. So the addicts will keep, uh, you know, favoring digital, and digital is going to keep on growing. TV is going to keep on uh, reducing. The addicts and the digital growth is mostly because of the SMEs and the smaller, newer brands which are coming to, the, uh, to, to play, rather than the traditional guys changing their media mix drastically. Having said that, I'll come to Britannia. We were at maybe, uh, see, as I said, we are uh, probably the most efficient meal for an average Indian or a below average Indian, right? So you can actually fill up your stomach with a five rupee biscuit pack, right? So uh, from that perspective, we've always felt that we need to do that efficient mass reach, et cetera. We were at a six to 7% digital uh, uh, saliency maybe five years ago. Now we are at about 15 to 16%, right? That's also partly because we are also premiumizing our franchise, we are also looking at maybe health cohort separately, etc. And that is how the spends also have moved. 
but that movement is here and here to stay. Uh, and lastly, I will say, I, I won't know whether it is going to go really high, etc., because these are all experiments that we, are do we have done in the last two, three years. Business results will also decide whether we will keep going in that, uh, you know, in that same steady growth for digital investments, saliency. Uh, otherwise, it's always going to be a wait and watch. Priyanka, what's your take? So, as far as the ADEX is concerned, estimates say that the digital spend is actually higher than TV when you look at the overall world, right? And I guess if you project it in future, the trend will be it'll, it'll start growing slower than what it has been, but it'll be growing faster than TV. So, somewhere it'll... TV reach has stabilized. I don't think it's... I mean, it's declining slightly over the years, and I guess pricing will be under pressure as a function of demand and supply. So we don't, I don't see it growing, but I see it having a significant percentage, at least for the next few years. As far as uh, Colgate is concerned and Armix, we have two big pillars. One is the core bands, and one is driving premiumization. Those are our two sort of uh, pillars of growth. On TV planning and reach planning, I think we've, we've optimized, and I think we've done a good job of getting to those reach levels, right? So just an, it'll be a function of business and which brands do we invest in. But if I assume that premiumization is a bigger lever of newer launches and more things coming, uh, the shift towards digital will be more just as a function of, you know, uh, of the mix. So even if you hold TV, you know, with newer investments coming in, the mix could, uh, the growth on digital is going to be higher. Sandeep, what's your point of view on the overall? So, uh, fortunately, Shimaru has a good share in OTT in YouTube, uh, in so on OTT, Shimarumi, and our channels. So I'm not afraid of all these thoughts. Uh, what I actually feel is uh, advertisers chase consumers, right? Wherever, wherever, whichever medium can provide that set of consumer that any particular brand is looking for will grow. On a larger base, when we see that, okay, the ecosystem of TV, the ecosystem of uh, digital, for a fair share, definitely because the growth rate of digital is higher, the growth rate of as a consumption also, right? It will definitely grow higher, correct? Because, and uh, as you correctly pointed out, there is larger influx of business which is coming and everybody's trying to now, if they have to grow, they have to advertise. They have to have their share of voice, right? That also is increasing. Not that it's a limited kitty, which is now getting lesser for TV and going all together for digital. TV revenues are, decreasing to the expectation that they were planning for, for sure, right? But the growth is definitely in commensurate to how um, things are changing. If at TV, we have to in increase our share, we have to uh, increase our content offering to the larger mass. Right? And when there is, there is limitation, this is all, the kind of regulations. So, uh, I mean, I'm, in, I'm in agreement that there will be a uh, less fa faster growth for TV and digital will definitely go but that doesn't mean that TV will be uh, sulking that TV would not grow it's it has to be optimized even for TV the digital like, like the connected TV is the same option right it's just moving on the same medium to a different medium or how we uh, at TV we have to figure out how do we make, make it more uh, interactive tuned to technology changes and if that happens in future Advertisers will come. It's because it's, it's completely not the medium, it's the complete, it's the viewer. If we can catch up the current kind of viewer, the advertisers will be moving to whichever side possible. I, mean, uh, I, I think uh, we had a very interesting discussion. Uh, while we started off by, s like, you know, me posing a question saying TV is dead, but uh, it's clearly here to stay. TV has a very important Absolutely. role to play. Uh, We've the another very like I think heartening news for a lot of broadcasters is impact plays a very big role and and we've got three large advertisers here who who believe in the power of impact. Uh, regionalization is the third point which we picked up that regional uh, India being such a strong regional market again TV plays a very important role. Uh, I think the point which we couldn't discuss and obviously because of time is on the measurement part and uh, while we had an offhand discussion that TV is the most measured medium. Uh, so overall, I think uh, we, we've, we've reached a sort of a conclusion that TV is here to stay. It's not um, like while there are rumors and you know, whatever going around, but th there, is a, there is a long way uh, for TV. 
any any questions or anything from the audience before we sort of wrap this up yes gaurav yeah and uh, we forgot to mention news also plays a very important role so <laughs> thank you jay yeah uh, <laughs> firstly uh, jay and the entire team there uh, great thoughts from all of you uh, take it as a great sign of encouragement we'll come back to you with increased budgets on tv uh, having said that uh, what i want to know is see one aspect that you largely covered was the reach impact little bit measurement but one aspect that i would like maybe all four marketers to throw some light is how do you see the uh, tv environment playing for content you know branded content has become a very large part of uh, you know conviction and building conviction especially during covid it was seen that brands that had actually built conviction for their uh, franchise uh, actually perform well in covid these are brands that did not do that they were only busy doing transaction and roi analysis so fundamentally do you as marketers see the role of tv being important in content and is that relevant for your brand so really that's the question any anyone would you'll want to take that up actually content has to be defined based on what do you want to do right what's your purpose and what's your objective is then you then decide whether what kind of content and storytelling do you want to do so for example if you pick up a bigger agenda uh which was like swachh bharat or whatever and you and then therefore you want to have content creation and you different kinds of you know whether it's influencers create educative content is then when you start looking at okay if i want to there has to be an objective then you will create something and then you will measure against that and i guess the channel then is chosen based on again sure. what is sure. the role of the channel so it could be news and i know on news a lot of these things happen because i guess news is perceived to be a credible platform it is it is a platform where you get you know uh, influencers and you get people talking and it's generally educative but like i said there's no it is again a function if you have a mission to build oral health in india and if as part of that a content strategy which is beyond just brand advertising becomes a serious part of our communication mix then we will go out and create the content and then it we may not just do it on one channel then we'll also figure out where do we want to do it and then how can we do it and what it takes to do it you know so i think it stems from what's your purpose what's your mission and therefore you know do you need a content uh, strategy thank you thanks i believe uh, in interest of time jay would you like to have your closing remarks Can sort of uh, yeah we we close the the discussion you know where we started off by saying that you know uh, what's the role of tv and we clearly believe that tv has a very important role to play uh, there are there are genres which continue to sort of define the advertising plan such as impact news hindi gc regionals uh, play a play a very important role yes probably the mix might go as per what the consumer is viewing so tv digital digital might grow a little faster than tv but tv is here to stay thank you so much jay on curating such an excellent uh, conversation with all our eminent leaders we would request a big round of applause for all our eminent <laughs>